I'll, I'll share that there's one woman that I'm working with and she is in a very toxic workplace. She's actually looking for another job right now, but she is um, very high up in, in communications. She like runs communications for the company and, um, but it's very toxic. They, they give her directives that she, you know, needs to turn around in, in 24 hours or less that are like, develop a communication strategy for this new initiative that we haven't told you about yet, you know, and, and then deliver it at the all hands meeting tomorrow. So um, for her, it is a number one, I don't have all the information I need to execute this strategy, this ask, but then number two, I don't want to, because you're being a dick in the way you're asking me. Mm -hmm. So what would be your ad ad advice uh, or how would you counsel uh, a woman like this to um, to work through that. I mean, that's that's it's hard because it's external, right? All of this is coming from the outside and you have to yeah. find out how to respond. But what what I'm curious what your advice would be. Mm. First and foremost, I have so much compassion for so many women who are in a workplace that's dominated by that dictatorial perspective. Right, mm -hmm. that consciousness of just do, just do what I say, don't ask questions, and mm -hmm. just be, you know, ultimately be a servant of my mission mm -hmm. rather than being related to as an incredible creative human. It's mm -hmm. like, it feels to me like one of the biggest pain points on the planet is that women right now mm -hmm. aren't being respected for being these incredible creators. Whether mm -hmm. women have children or not, we've got wombs, we are a source of creation. Mm -hmm. And so this just, really painful um, truth that women aren't being honored in the workplace. So my heart goes out mm -hmm. to every single woman who's uh, experiencing that level of disrespect. Mm -hmm. and, and so what is ours to do then when we're in those environments? And the question is like, how do I be a meaningful contributor here and mm -hmm. not be a doormat? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, I love this idea of actually really calling forth that integrated power of creation. Mm -hmm. I am a woman. I've got a womb, which is a source of power. I've got this incredible heart source of power, and I've got this incredible mind. And when I get all three of those things lined up, I am a force of nature mm -hmm. and really owning that because for me, transformation is ultimately a state. So it mm -hmm. feels like for women who are in corporate environments, one of the most powerful choices is to own the truth of your power. And that can feel elusive and hard to find when you feel at the effect of life and boss and coworkers. And I've got a client actually in a corporate environment that um, I've been working with to keep leaning into the back of her chair and mm. into her spine and mm -hmm. to keep taking a breath and slowing it down and giving herself permission to stay lined up. Mm -hmm. because when we are in a state of survival and we're constantly uh, re reacting to bosses or coworkers who are throwing shit at us, expecting us to just do it, mm -hmm. there's no center of power when we're in this like, okay, look, da, da, da. Yeah. So we're, the, yeah, we're kind of like trying to dance with all their ass and, and then it throws us off, off balance, literally. Right. Like yeah. really we're defensive all the time. And it's, mm -hmm. and so it's really moving into that, take a breath and mm -hmm. letting yourself have this, like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to stack myself up here and, and access these three powerful centers mm -hmm. of my being so that whatever I choose, whether it's a verbal response and action response, or make a completely different choice, I'm doing it from this place of alignment with myself. Mm -hmm. And then we've got some self-respect in the conversation. And it feels like that's mm -hmm. the piece that a lot of women start to lose in the process of trying to maintain their jobs is that mm -hmm. they start losing their sense of self-respect. Mm -hmm. So my like first layer of, of coaching and support is come back to yourself and do what you've got to do to reconnect with your self-respect. Mm 